Hello there, Libra. Thank you so much for joining my channel. I just had like a little, a whole little thing going on with my phones. So you guys may be facing some kind of something with your phone. I don't know if your phone breaks or drops or whatever. Just keep up with your phone. Take care of your phone, please. Otherwise, you will you will be needing a phone replacement in the month of um, October. So my name is Ashley and my YouTube channel is letter N, the number two space W-I-T-C-H-I-N and that is intuition. I curse a lot. If you don't like curse words, this is not the channel for you. I curse a whole, whole lot. Not only that, I do not lie to y'all. Whatever I see, I will tell you. The good and the bad. My goal with tarot is to identify any blockages that may be holding you back from reaching your highest vibrational energies. So not every reading is going to be good and I don't focus on just love. So if you are here for forward movement, because that's the direction you finally decided to go in, welcome. I am shuffling my last pal. All right. Ancestor Spirit, guys, divine, Holy Spirit, and universe, please assist me in giving Libra. Oh, ain't a Libra season. Happy birthday, y'all. Please assist me in giving Libras clear and accurate messages in regards to whatever it is they need to see here and know today. Please make the messages loud, clear, and accurate. <sighs> Y'all finally weeded out the snakes. Uh -huh. Somebody was even very close to you. And you are, uh, I can either continue to be a victim and continue to be victimized and continue to be talked about and continue to be let's say, um, like antagonize or anything, or I can remove myself and move forward in life. Yep. It took a lot of strain, but you did it. Because I feel like this person was close to you. Like, let's say it was a really good friend, a really close friend of someone you were in a relationship with, whatever. Um, there's been, you, you found out some shit. <laughs> Long story short, and you chose yourself. You're like, I choose me. I can't. I can't operate in that energy. I can't deal with that energy. I can't move forward in that energy. And so due to that, I do choose me. I choose myself. I have to love you from a distance. And I told y'all maybe realizing you got to love some people from a distance. Mm -hmm. It wasn't good for your health. It wasn't good for your emotions. It was like mentally and, and emotionally just unpleasing and and stressful you know who you are you know where you're going you know like what you're getting yourself into you're very happy with the person you're becoming you're very happy with your intuition you know the 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 you've expanded there has been an expansion in your intuition and in, in your mind you are now becoming a student of life and it's not that you weren't, whatever, like your last lesson was just like, you know what? I surrender, right? I surrender to the divine. I surrender to God. I surrender to the universe. Whoever it is that you believe in and pray for, it's like, well, I'm just going to go after what I want. And you don't align with it. So, hasta la vista. It's going to be more people that you leave behind too along the way. Y'all are literally willing to cut anything and anybody off. Y'all are in a pursuit of happiness. Money, financial, money, money and financial worries will be a thing of the past. So if, if it's currently a financial worry and, you know, currently, you know, some kind of financial strain, I don't see that. I don't see it being too far off. Some of y'all is... Okay, I'm just gonna say it. Some of y'all are doing or did something illegal concerning money. It could be like a, if, if there was a case, it would get thrown out. Or it did get thrown out. Or like, you're fine. Somebody did something that wasn't like, Honest. 
But I don't feel like you like stole something directly from a person. It's like something that you could have done and is you wondering like, will it backfire on me? You know, will I get in trouble for this? Um, whatever. Even if it's like you lied on your taxes or some shit. Yeah. Oh, hell yeah. You'll be fine. I mean, I don't see financial worries being something um, like super big for you right now. But if you have any financial worries, I mean, y'all came from like damn near nothing, it seems. Where it's like I built myself up. And so I have experienced the struggle. I have been through, you know, losses and and whatever. It's okay. Like is you're not going back there and you know it. And it could be because of your childhood and you know however it is you grew up where you like not happening. And you right, it's not happening. So you do have financial increase to look forward to in October. There was a, a construction truck that had been beeping for so long. I was trying to see if it finally stopped. Some of you guys could be building a house from the ground up, or that could be like one of your wishes or something. If so, that'll happen. You are wondering if you are in an unhappy relationship or unhappy marriage, it is not, that's not the one. Some of y'all are wondering, like, will it get better between me and my partner? I don't know, like, how to say this nicely, but if it's not already better, it's not going to get better. And even if it gets better, it gets worse. Like, it's, it's, it's not, it's not a, a, a full um, fulfillment ever. It's not lived up to its maximum potential. It, it, it doesn't make it there. Being patient in love is very advisable for you. So if, if you're single, not jumping into anything and not just, you know, settling or whatever. I'm not saying leave your partner. You could do exactly what you want to do. But I know it ain't your best. I know it's not, I know you're, you're not emotionally fulfilled. This I know, this I see. I know how that shit feel. I mean, I've never been married, but I've definitely been in relationships where my needs were not met, where my emotional needs were not met, where where I knew had I stayed, I would have been settling. So regardless of like, oh, this person is cool, this person is, I can't stay here. And now I am with the person of my dreams. This shit is toxic because I don't know if it's emotionally or mentally depleting, but it's like um, kind of like a manipulative or a narcissistic energy. I know people throw the word narcissist around left and right, but this person would be considered a narcissist. Like the kind that whoop your ass and then kiss you afterwards. And it's like, that's, that shit is sick, it's not okay. Mm-hmm. Don't nobody know it but you and me. This is for whoever is unhappy. Because it feel like it just instantly turned into a... Uh, like a personal reading. Everything comes to light. If you're a Libra, whatever has done in the dark or whatever... Whatever was done in the dark or whatever, it comes to light. And I'm not saying you've wronged anybody, but it's, it's like if you have been questioning anything, if you have been, you know, um, in the middle of making a decision, being indecisive or whatever, it's like everything that you need to see comes to light. So so if you're needing to see that someone is there for you, if you're needing to see that someone is truly in your corner, or whatever has your back, you'll see it. If you need to see that someone is has does not have your best interest and this doesn't have to be in love, this can be friendship, workplace, whatever. It's like, you'll see it. You'll know I am not valued where I am. May I have a closing card for Libra, please? I mean, y'all got lots of stuff to look forward to. But it's choosing the right path and choosing the right direction. They get you there faster. 
Don't settle. Continue to pour into yourself. Continue to work on your inner self. Continue to heal childhood wounds. Continue to love on yourself. Continue to, to uplift yourself. Continue to motivate yourself. Continue to affirm yourself. Whatever you've been doing for your own personal healing is working. And one day you'll look up and you'll realize that you are living the life of your dreams. You are living the life you deserve. You are exactly where you need to be and that you are safe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will see you guys again soon. Bye.